What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a modern video here on, uh, I guess, YouTube. I don't even know. Channel Fireball? TCG player? Star City Games? Could be anywhere. Welcome back. If you guys are watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can hit that bell to get notifications whenever I post new content. If you're watching on Twitch, feel free to subscribe or follow. Both of those things help me out a ton. And today, not when you're watching this, but two days ago, perhaps... Uh, I did get promoted to the highest tier on Twitch. Uh, so I get a, a larger share of the Twitch subscription pie, which has been a huge uh, huge goal I've been working towards, and I, I feel like I've accomplished it now. And it's, it's, a good, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. It's nice to have forward momentum when you're doing things like this. Um, so today, we're going to be checking out a deck from Iron Chef Sammy. Iron Chef Sammy actually submitted two decks. Sammy, let me know which one you want me to play because I think it's actually difficult to play both of these and tweak both of these. But I think if we focus on one, uh, we'll have a better time. So let me know which one you want to do. So uh, this is a control version of the deck. It's got Maelstrom Pulse. It's got a bunch of four drops, Cryptic Command, Kalidus, Jace. One Nissa, which I'm a fan of. Uh, Assassin's Trophy, Abrupt Decay, Counter Squalls, Tarmogoyfs, Snapcasters. And then there's a more mid-range version of the deck. Uh, which doesn't have any four drops whatsoever. And we have two three Lilianas, three Timeless Trackers, two Coursers, four, four Goyfs, one Snapcaster Mage, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like a lot of Snapcasters, especially when we have so many one drops. Especially with things like Traverse. Uh, four Grim Flayers, full set of these guys. Two Abrupt Decays, two Assassin's Trophies. And then one Bitter Blossom and one Nihil Spellbomb in the main deck. Four... Delirium, Bitter Blossom fueling Delirium quite nicely with its uh, dual dual nature. <sighs> Is this when Iron Chef Sammy left? He's just like, I'm gonna peace out right before you play my deck. That'd be cool. That'd be a real Iron Chef. Sorry, I was in the bathroom. What did you say? Oh my god. I just said, let me know which which deck you'd prefer me playing, the controlled version or the mid-range version, because I feel like it's not a great idea to play both of them and just kind of mix and match and then, like, you know, tweak both of them. So let me know which one you want me to play, and I will focus on that one. Bobby, enjoy enjoy Deadpool 2, buddy. Pretty, uh, pretty decent. I played a really similar deck to control version at regionals. I had a real-time casting cryptic command. Oh, that makes sense. I can see that. Triple Triple blue is hard. Double blue for Jace is pretty okay, though. I like that Sammy seems to have gone to the Frank Lepore school of deck build, the mana base building, where he has one forest, because nothing costs more than one one green. Three islands, because you do have cryptic command. So, like, this is, this is basically if they play Blood Moon, you can still cast all of your spells. And then two swamps, because nothing costs more than two black, so... But Sammy, you let me know, and uh, we'll get to it. We'll do the thing. Do do do. Play that one, the red one. Yeah, this is, and this is the red Sultai list. Uh, so you know like you do i've seen it a few times i know <laughs> bobby miser thank you so much for the 100 i've seen it a few times but i already know deadpool 2 bits appreciate it looks like iron chef sammy went back to that um play the better one. Oh jesus sammy all right i'll just pick i'm gonna pick the mid-range version maybe i don't know see i'm indecisive and it's your deck like which one do you want to play do you want to play the one with Jace's and, and Nissa's and Kalidus's? Or do you want to play the one with small Jace and tireless trackers? You let me know. It's your, it's your, uh, it's your, what's it called? It's your party. It's your show. You know, I'm just, I'm just living it. I took you. I can't, I, oh, I told you I can't choose. All right. I'm going to play the mid range one. We're going to start with this mid range list. And I will update the deck list accordingly. In case you guys are like, what deck are you playing? I'm going to hashtag... What is it called? Command? Is it called command? Like command deck? That's the... Do you just call it command like hashtag? Oh, 
Oh, it's already in my deck lists. Is it my most recent deck? Did I already upload the, the mid-range one? Because that's good for me. I did real good. Nice. Oh my god, these new Planeswalkers look so good, dude. The new, uh, like the full art ones? It's like the default image for this, and it looks so much better with like the... Oh, it just pops. Anyway, alright. So we're going to take this list and do the thing. Mid-range. Let's do it. Not going to make any tweaks. Just going to let it ride. I hope all this back and forth is something I'm sure YouTube enjoys nothing more than sitting through and deciding us deciding on things. Yeah, well, I mean, like, it's not really efficient to cut it out. It's also part of the it's part of the experience, right? They can play it. Also, if you guys are watching on YouTube, one trick is to play it at one and a half speed or two speed. Two speed might be too fast, but one and a half speed is probably perfect. You can probably get through a video, an, an hour and a half video in what would one and a half speed be? Like an hour? I guess you're cutting 33% off, maybe? I don't know. Is that how math works? I don't know. What is your modern salt helix from? Uh, is that one that's in here? I, I bet it is. I bet you snuck and looked. Uh, this one? If it loads. Two Jace, Tassiger, one Ashiok was probably. I think this is also a critique, actually. Oh. All right. So I will play first. How many Serum Visions are in this list? None. Okay. Uh, this hand is definitely keepable keep Apple. I'm nervous. <laughs> Three times speed would make an hour and a half video like, what, 30 minutes? Uh, we'll just play Overgrown first. Do we just go Tarmogoyf, Tarmogoyf, Tarmogoyf and uh, open ourselves up to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's a sorcery and two lands. Welp. That's good for our Tarmogoyf because if an instant goes to the graveyard, then, like, if they try to lightning bolt this guy, it becomes a 3-4 uh, immediately, and then it doesn't die. That which is Tarmogoyf can never die. That's uh, House Greyjoy. They're big fans of Tarmogoyf. I mean, I genuinely like the idea of people sitting there waiting with us, like, a month from now. Okay, well, that's... I don't still know what to make of that, No Beats. Sure. Can we get a fail push? That would be so good. Grim Flare is not terrible. I guess we just attack and go... I don't think we're Grim Flaring here because we don't actually have... I feel like just another Tarmogoyf is probably better than Grim Flare. Grim Flare dies to shocks or lightning bolts. Shock you're probably not going to see too pro prominently in uh, in modern. But like a shock effect, so like a Kolagon's Command. Whereas Tarmogizzle does not fall prey to. And I don't foresee them playing green and then using a Maelstrom Pulse on these guys. So Fatal Push is an option. They could Fatal Push our thing, our dude. If you cast a spell when it's resolving, is it counting like it's the graveyard? Uh, no, but when it resolves, it goes to the graveyard already, right? So, like, upon resolution of a lightning bolt, the lightning bolt goes to the graveyard. After the spell has completely resolved, that is when state-based effects are checked. So it would look at Tarmogoyf and say, oh, you're a 3-4. You don't die to the damage that you have taken. So, um, breeding pool... We definitely want another Overgrown Tomb in here. What do we... That's a lot of... We want double black for sure. So we're going to get Water Grave, but we definitely want another Overgrown Tomb. This deck is very heavy black-green. So now we need a, a second green source for to play like Grimflare and Tarmogoyf. I mean, if not, our option to play Tarmogoyf and Jace's Vrinth Prodigy is still, still fine. I mean, Overlord and Missing Warriors doesn't do much against our 4-5 now. Land. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for here, unfortunately. But we can play Tireless Tracker and 
dark slick shores which is fine i'm gonna add a green though because that seems like a necessity for playing a tracker especially because the deck doesn't have jace or cryptic command so like you really don't need this much blue mana So lands, like, you definitely want to maximize your number of black-green lands. Because if you look like most of our cards are black-green, right? Like, these are our only blue cards. We have three blue cards in the deck, so, like, having this many blue sources is pretty excessive, I think. Misties are getting blue sources. Yeah, all right. So that's a that's a change. Oh, they killed it. Well, this is unfortunate, but I think we're still they have two cards in hand, and our hand is pretty stacked. Hmm. How many card types? We got creature, creature, land. So that's unfortunate. We are going to get in there with this Tarmagizzle again. And we're probably just going to play Tarmogoyf and Jace. Jace blocks a token, so. And we're going to get not an Overgrown Tomb, because we actually don't have a second one. We'll just get a Breeding Pool, which leaves us with four blue sources on board, which is too many blue sources. Uh, it's not about, it's not only about the Shocks, though. Like, Dark Slick Shores should probably be uh, Blooming Marsh, because you just don't need, you have three blue cards in your deck. So, like, you really want to maximize the number of blue and green sources. So you can play two green spells or two black spells a turn. I think I said blue and green. I meant black and green. So, wow, they took a point there. Took two points there, rather. Well, that's terrifying. Okay, so what did they discard? Land? Faithless Looting, number three. That's where they go. Dreadbore number two, this guy. This is actually fine. I don't really care about this. You can take my Grim Flare. Well, that's sad. That I'm a little more concerned with. <sighs> but we have two Tarmogoyfs on board, so... Definitely a green source. Likely a breeding pool because... For reasons. I found a Blooming Marsh. One. A two. Oh, Snappy Boy with nothing in the graveyard. That is unfortunate. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't actually feel like we can attack here. I think we're just going to pass. I don't love it, but... Wow. Wow. Bedlam Reveler dot deck. Not a fan of anything that's happening here. Where are our cards? Where are the cards that let us draw their cards? I'm sorry. Don't apologize, dude. That's the whole point of this. Everything that's happening is expected. This is literally how it goes. That's like you being like, hey, uh, I have this project, and I really need some help on it. Can, would you mind helping me? And I'm like, uh, no, not at all. Let's take a look at your project. And I take a look at it, and I'm like, okay, so you should probably change this and this and this. And then you're like, oh, man, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, what are you apologizing for? Literally, me doing this, the entire point of this is me to find these flaws. Be a spell. Oh, that's a spell. That is a spell. So black, green, black, green. Oh, this is nice.
I'm going to attack first. God, why did they get rid of two of my timer books? Dreadbore. What a time to be alive. Oh, you're just going to chump, I see. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Did they give me bedlam revelers when I asked for none? I was like, no bedlam revelers, please. And they were like, no, no, you'll get these bedlam revelers. And I was like, well, I really don't have a choice, do I? My god. So we're just going to block here and then kill both of these guys is the plan. Man, I hope we have like flaying tendrils on the sideboard or something. I bet they're like, you're dead. And I'm like, nah, bro. I'm still good. You know me. Same old G, but I've been low key. That's from Dr. Dre. So let's go black. Nope, that's not how we do it. Green and black. Trophy this boy. I wonder how many basic lands you have left. At least one. Magic's like, did you want the Assassin's Trophy? And I'm like, yeah. I did. Peace out, Bedlam Revelers. See, the thing about Snapcaster is that it's either going to block a token or it's going to get blocked by a token. It's never going to actually effectively kill this guy, so we might as well get a token out of the way because we are under pressure here. We're like Freddie Mercury and David Bowie over here. I was uh, under pressure reference, in case you guys didn't know. Fatal push? No. God, this is so many lingering souls. My kingdom for a mephitic vapors. <laughs> Tireless tracker with no land. Brutal. Brutal. And they still have two faithless lootings and another lingering souls in the graveyard so not not all about that unfortunately they can literally just go loot make two guys let's see what our sideboard yields uh oof flaying tendrils two two flaying tendrils that's nice can you stop killing my things i would have probably alpha here to be honest with you if we get to block here we take five six seven eight nine ten yeah, we would we would have been, we got a, got a one, and then you likely can hit a lightning bolt here. I would play this guy and then alpha. Like we have no cards in hand. You don't know what I'm playing, so you're just giving me basically a chance to draw a wrath of God, like a damnation. All right, ley line actually seems pretty good. Uh, Kalita seems okay. Don't like this Liliana. Um, don't care about Collected Brutality. Definitely don't think we want... Maybe we want Bitter Blossom. I mean, it's it's tough, but like they probably don't have a way to deal with it. Take out one of the Assassin's Trophy. Like The only thing these kill are that, that everything else doesn't kill is... Um, Reveler. 
I also don't care about Thoughtseize here. We're gonna bring in a bunch of stuff. We're gonna bring in Leyline, Kalidus, Flaying Tendrils, Scavenging Ooze, and I'll take a one Kalidus. I don't think Kalidus is that great. It just gets hit with like uh what's it called? Dreadbores and terminates. But it's pretty okay. We'll keep this hand. I don't like having to crack both of these. I would love a land here. Again, you look at this hand and you're like, man, two overgrown tombs is really what I want here, so I can play like double black spells. Um, we're probably going to end up getting Overgrown Tomb Watery Grave. I'm also not a huge Tireless Tracker fan because this deck only has 22 lands. So by the time you have three lands out, you really don't have much of an opportunity to play a fourth land. And you don't really want to play Tireless Tracker on turn four either, and then play a land immediately after. You can, of course, but... I think the land count is not necessarily there for Tireless Tracker, but... I'm not sure it would be better either. I do like I do like Courser. But again, I'm not sure if the land count is there for Courser either. Both of those are very, very land-dependent creatures. Oh, let's make sure we play a land. How's that sound? Our opponent doesn't usually have things that they play on turn one. Um, like, they have thought season stuff, but they did mulligan to five, so I'm going to wait to Inquisition here. We're going to get overgrown tomb. If we hit a land here, it'd be great, because I'd rather just play a land. Um, that actually could be nice. We can get a Swamp, and then play Inquisition here. That seems good. I like that. Yeah, the price tag of any green black base deck in modern usually pretty high based on Liliana's and Tarmogoyfs and the fetch lands, but uh Colagon's command, a lightning bolt, lingering souls. Let's get rid of Colagon's command. Oh, Corsair's good for the enchantment type. I can see that. But that also assumes your Courser dies. Three, four, huh? One jump. We got a sorcery, a land, instant creature. We're going to play this. We'll just play Tarmogoyf here. So they play Bloodstained Mire, so they're probably going to... if They they can't Lightning Bolt, it's a 3-4, so that's nice. Gotta still eat, gotta eat to live. Tell you what I have the time. One jump. This is from Aladdin. You guys ever see Aladdin? This is where Lingering Souls comes into play. Yes, it is. So you played another Bloodstain. We played Marsh Flats. Okay, so we know you have a second Bloodstained Mire and a Lightning Bolt in your hand. Seems good. Have I seen my actual favorite Disney movie before? It sounds... That's a good movie. It is definitely a solid movie.
probably going to crack this year. They have no creatures for Fatal Push, and I'd rather just have the land untapped in case we want to... Uh, in case we hit another land, then we can Grim Player and, and play Bitter Blossom without actually having to worry about um, taking infinite damage. It also lets us play Tracker and follow up with a land. So only two creature, two two card types here, and we only have lightning bolt. So Grim Flare and Tireless Tracker are both dead to uh, lightning bolt, unfortunately. But we are definitely going to attack here. We can't block. So is that one the one with the ape man in the jungle? Why the ape man? That's apist. So many one ones. Also, if they want a quadruple block, we can easily uh, fatal push one. However, the problem is that they still have lightning bolts, so. Yeah, Gorf counts our own graveyards. We're also not going to sideboard Tarmogoyf out just because we have Leyline in the deck. All right, so this is nice because now we can go Inquisition you, snag your Lightning Bolt if you got it, Bolt them if you got them. They're going to crack this and play Terminate on Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf, ter Terminate the Lightning Bolt? Interesting. Those are a bunch of words I said. Why would you... Kalidus and Mountain... Fascinating. Astonishing. Uh, this guy. So next turn they're going to play Kalidus. And then if, they, if they're going to draw Lightning Bolt, so they're going to play Mountain Kalidus and then Lightning Bolt something. And then they're going to get a zombie and it's going to be real sad for everybody. Specifically me. <sighs> Alright, so there's Kalidas. We still have Mountain. There's Mountain. <laughs> and... Fetch land would be amazing. We could fate. We can play tireless tracker. Play fetch land. Crack fetch land. Fatal push. Kalidas. Yeah, this is an easy play. Warm smell of Kalitas rising up through the air. That's a good jam. Beautiful. Just beautiful. How many swamps do we have? Can I get a swamp? Yes, I can. Try 
trigger. I wish it would tell me. I think I have three. I have artifact or instant sorcery creature. No, no creatures in the graveyard. So maybe we put this Tarmogoyf in the graveyard. Maybe not. If we put the Tarmogoyf, we can actually cast Traverse the Elvenwald and get a creature. So we can just get another, another Tarmogoyf and then make this guy stronger. I guess that's fine. Um... I don't think we care about the delirium, though, to be quite honest. I think we're just going to put Blooming Marsh in the graveyard, put Traverse back, and then Tarmogoyf on top of that. Because we can crack a clue and just play Tarmogoyf next turn, which I think is totally fine. Oh, we just won the game. All right, seems good. And we didn't even hit any flying tendrils, ten tendrinos. Uh, I guess we're good. Yeah, I don't really see a problem here. What is this nonsense you guys are doing over here? Uh, this is a keepable hand. Leyline seems insane. Some dance to remember. Some dance to forget. Now you're going to have this song stuck in my head forever. Living in up on the Dutton, California. Do, 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 do. Scared of young Pyromancer. That guy seems pretty good for you. Unfortunately, Scavenging and Tarmogoyf are both smaller now, but Tarmogoyf's at least a 2 3. So, I mean, not the most ideal creatures to have with a ley line. However, the ley line shutting off their lingering souls. Eh, it's good to go. We're good. Our bitter blossom also pretty okay here. I'm actually gonna crack this and just play, just get a overgrown tomb. No, actually, it's it's always breeding pool when you have. Um, when you have Urborg in hand. Got enchantments to deck over here. If they have any way to get rid of Leyline, it's fine, because then these guys are suddenly significantly better. Oh, nice. A top deck. All right, so what did they play? They played Mountain, so we can assume that's gone. Looks like they also played a Bloodstained Mire, so we know two of the three cards. Mm, T Gizzle. We can also exile our own creatures out of the graveyard as well. That is an option. And Lightning Bolt actually does kill Tarmogoyf here. I wonder if they know that. They could also create a time paradox where um, Tarmogoyf goes to the graveyard, but it sees itself in the graveyard, so it becomes a 3-4, and then it doesn't die. What are you guys talking about in the chat? This is amazing. What is Shoe Grain Caravan? What's even happening right now? Taking Tracker out for Ooze. Isn't there already Ooze in the deck, though? Oh, for main deck scavenging Ooze? That seems good. I like that. Gotta turn this fan off for a second. It's drying out my face. Alright, so this is your play. So you know we have Lingering Souls, basically. And then one other card.
I'm always going to block. Like, us, we get one token a turn. They might get more than that. Like, they might get three in a turn, but our, our tokens are way more consistent. And they also have one card in hand, and they'll never, never get Lingering Souls again, so that's nice. Well, huh, that is a thing. They do have Kalita, so I'm actually reluctant to play Urborg here. It does cycle. It also makes the Tarmogoyf larger if we need that kind of shenanigans. Oh my god, I'm getting so tired of this. <laughs> These top decks, man. Really? There's no way. Yeah, it's like there's no way that's happening. Block you. Take two. I mean, they still have a lot of pressure here. We need to draw things. We have one green, so if we draw another green creature, we can't actually play both things. Yeah. Definitely more, more green mana needed. We have more blue mana right now than we have green mana. I don't want to give them... Like, if they draw Kalidus, I just have no reason to... Also, we don't need the land here. Like, if we draw... Um, a bunch of cards just fell off the desk. That's cool. Like, if we draw Tireless Tracker, well, I'd also just rather have the land in hand, so. Wow. Like, they're just drawing everything. Like, they've gone from Lingering Souls to Dreadboard to Lightning Helix with, like, no cards in hand. Every every top deck has been pretty good. Aggressive. Oh, they're just doing attack with all and then pulling the guy back. That's what's happening. Gonna play you in Blooming Marsh because we want to gain life next turn. They have two guys. I don't even want to attack here, to be quite honest. Ah! This is actually fine because it doesn't actually deal with our board and we can gain some life here which is nice it's only one point for now but oh that's there we go 
One, two, three. Courser definitely comes down. It's, it's the same amount of life as if we played this, only gives us a much better blocker. And no. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty good. That should counter out the... Uh... Thank you. Gerald Henders, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. That should counteract the Bitter Blossom triggers quite quite easily. If The problem is if they attack with everything, we can block one, two, three, four, five. We can block four, so we take two. We take one from this. So if they have like a lightning bolt, we basically die. Fatal push the scavenger news. Oh, green mana would be so good. Like if their if their top card is lightning bolt, that means they they actually hit only gas. If their hand, if the only card in hand is lightning bolt, then they hit only gas and. Uh... Okay, no no lightning bolt. So we get to go to four here, which is nice. But we're still in like. We're still in the lightning bolt's crosshairs here. Yeah, that that. That scavenging news would have been nice. Two extra life going from four to six is huge. And we can't really attack because if they attack with everything, we go block, block. And we take two and go to two, then we go to one. So, like, we're not even in a position where attacking is a great option. Yep. Like, this is unbelievable, man. Like, we've drawn one, two, three, four, six lands. Like, they've drawn mono gas. So... Like, we're going to one, but, I mean, if we can hit a land, we're staying alive. Like, we get to play Jason. If there's a land on top, that's cool. Um, but otherwise, we're probably pretty dead. Like, we have to hit, like, real runners forever. One time. Okay, we did it. And Jace does block, so three to three. We could also just cast the Traverse and get uh, get a basic land. What do we have in here? Creature, land, sorcery, artifact. We actually could Traverse for anything, including a Scavenging Ooze. Uh, that's actually pretty good. A Kalidus is also pretty good if we can survive the turn. Uh, we can also discard Leyline, which should get us another land. Oh, boy. I don't know what's happening here, but I'm a little bit afraid. All right. Okay, we're not dead. Modern is a hell of a format. Oh, land on top is nice. Okay, do we Jace here? Flashback Inquisition, maybe? That doesn't seem great. We do have Ford. We have Sorcery, Land, Creature, Thing. So we can actually play this. Get a Kalidus. And then play Kalidus. They didn't play anything. It's just two lands in their hand. Thoughtseize and Bedlam Reveler. So now we just really have to hope they don't hit anything, right? Alright. Whiff one time and I think we got this.
nailed it. I think we got it. I think Kalidus actually keeps us alive for quite a while. Wow. Stabilization is real here. Good games. Woo. Woo. Clench the butt cheeks. Still got them. All right. So. Misty's are fine, but they should just be an even split of Misty's and um, Delta. Like, there's no reason to have all four of Misty when the deck is split. So. Also, you don't need Botanical Sanctum for anything, really. It should just be another... Uh, it should just be another Blooming Marsh. Um, you can also, I don't even think you need Urborg to be quite honest. Like all your, so many of your lands produce black. Um, so one Water Grave, one Breeding Pool, one Overgrown Tomb. We definitely want another Overgrown Tomb for sure. I don't like creeping tar pit in here. You're just not that heavy blue. Like that's just what it comes down. That's just what it comes down to. Uh, I don't even care about the dark slick shores. Like we have so many blue sources without. I'd rather just have a third overgrown tomb and like the fourth blooming marsh. And then if we look at our mana base, we basically have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, do we not have four verdant catacombs? Definitely verdant catacomb up up over everything else. Um, we can probably cut one. Yeah, we can cut a blooming marsh. So yeah, I think that's fine. Um, we only have three blue cards, so we're not like super heavy on blue at all. I also don't like Liliana, and I'm not a huge tireless tracker fan here. I did like Courser, though. I would like add another Courser. Like, Courser also finds you card advantage here. Flaying Tendrils was great. Leyline is good, but it does kind of ca counteract a lot of your a lot of your threats. Like, it makes your Tarmogreif source. But I guess that's it. Uh, the Nissa Flip, I don't think you're ever getting to 7 mana in this deck. I think that's the problem. You're never, you're never gonna like. You're very rarely gonna have seven lands in a twenty-two land deck in modern. Yeah, I mean we can leave the Urborg in, but I mean like Urborg is also, eh, I guess it's not a mountain, or I guess it's not a. What do you call it? A thing. Um. The life gain's nice. I would definitely take one of the trackers out for one of the Courser of Crew fixes. I think that's fine. I don't like Liliana the Veil. I'm not a big Liliana the Veil fan. That's probably weird, but... I do like having another Snapcaster. Like, you have enough targets for Snapcaster that it's very good. Everything else seemed fine. Let's try that and see what that does. Mid-range, right? Right. That's right. I also, I'm real tempted to add Jace. Like, I don't see a reason why we don't have Jaces in here. We have to change the deck a little bit, but... I mean... It's not like mid-range decks can't have four, four, four drops and only control decks can. We're going to mulligan this hand. This hand's rough. I'm going to keep it. I don't feel like going to five here. I will keep that guy. Uh, I do think we want some form of card advantage, though. The deck doesn't have card advantage, and I think Tracker does fulfill that. I just don't think you need three. Um, and I also don't think you want Ooze. I don't think Ooze in the main deck is that great. I think it's it's a, it's a great card. Like, you'll play it if you have to, but... I mean, like... It was just red-green. Okay. Okay. 
I'm going to play this and assume you don't have a creature. Because next turn we want to play Tarmogoyf, and we're going to have Blooming Marsh to do it. I don't want to actually take two damage here against any sort of burn deck, because that's just giving you free burn. Oh, all right. Deal. Actually, I like fetch land better here because now we get to make a bigger Tarmogoyf. And we can still play Blooming Orsh next turn. It shuts off Fatal Push, but against a red-white deck, I don't think we're actually that concerned. We have a ton of black-green. I'm just going to get the island here. This is a 2-3, and if an instant goes to the graveyard, they just can't kill it with uh, Lightning Bolt or Lightning Helix here, so... Shard Volley. Haven't beat Burn once. Interesting. Um, you have... So you have... Life goes on on the sideboard. If a creature dies this turn, you're getting 8 life. The odds of a creature dying is not great. I like Feed the Pack better. Feed the Clan. Is that the card? Don't give me another land. This is way too many lands for a 22 land deck. Alright, let's see what you got. Show me what you got. Skull McCrackums. All right, so they're going to go down to one card here. And they're not because they're all lands. Okie dokie. Well, that's good for us. They have to draw four cards in order to win the game. Yeah, gaining 5 or 10 life. I think Feed the Clan is 5, and if you have Ferocity, it's 10. I like what you've got. Those used to be on the soundboard. Alright, so we know Arid Mace is gone. Tireless Tracker. Give Diddy a little tracky. It's not a little tracker at all. However, we are going to collect a brutality and escalate two modes, two life and card cast. Target you, target you. Discard an overgrown tomb. And let's see what you got here. Did you get anything? You'll just cast it, I'm sure, but that's fine. another skull crack and we gain no life well there's no way around that unfortunately that was a good draw for you can't really argue with that and tarmogoyf does not get any bigger we have land sorcery and instant so they go to 10 we know they have advantage in hand. If it wasn't, if it was any card other than uh, Skullcrack, we'd probably be at nine, because most of their spells are going to deal three, so they would cast it in response. We'd still gain the two, but it had to be Skullcrack. Yep, we're at four, hoping to dodge Boros. Well, we're not playing that. That's a dead draw. That's pretty sad. They're doing well on the. Uh, on the gotta draw gas plan. They've drawn two out of four gases so far. All right, well, we're still alive. It's not good, it's not good. I feel like they would have played something, right? Like, we'd be dead because they have they only need to draw two spells. 
So I don't want to work. Just want to bang on the drum all day. Let's go black green. No, let's not do that. Let's play this. Kill this guy. Lightning Helix. You have two draws and you have Lightning Helix. Oh, I think we did it. I think they're just... All right. Woo, boy. Yeah, make myself discard. It seems definitely worse than just Fatal Pushing it. I don't want to go to two when they could just have Lightning Bolt in hand. Uh, well, definitely playing Life Goes On. Four Life is still good. Kalidus can come in. Liliana can come out. They don't look like they have any targets for that. Fatal Push can also come out. Scavenging Ooze can come in. Bitter Blossom seems a little dangerous. Actually, I mean, Fatal Push is probably better than Assassin's Trophy here. And let's get Abrupt Decay, sure. Oh, bring in the Brutalities instead of the Abrupt Decays. Yeah, that seems better. I want all the life gain. Every card that has gain life on it, I'm bringing in. I'll keep this hand. Thoughtseize is ripping out. It's not great. Thoughtseize is not great in this matchup, admittedly. But if we're able to rip out a three damage spell. I don't want to work. Just want to bang on the drum all day. Collective Brutality seems good here. Um, this is going to be fine at any point. We might as well just kill this guy now, right? This prevents any future damage. And, like, Thoughtseize... At any point, Thoughtseize is able to take a 3 damage burn spell. You're preventing 1 point. It's not great, but it is a point. And it's one less card they have in their hand. And if you could take, like, a Boros Charm or something, it's... It's, it's 2 points you're preventing, so it's not terrible. Oh, that being said, I don't want them to skull crack here, though. So I think we're actually just playing this, thought seizing you. So we're always going to get something. Okay, it does gain two life with the collective brutality. That's true. I'd rather just discard a land at this point, though. We're going to definitely get another green source. So we can actually play Scavenging Ooze, exile this guy, and at least gain one life from it. And if we can rip all the uh, all the skull cracks that you may have out of your hand, it should be fine. Because then we get to keep both of these guys, the life gain from both of these cards. Yeah, if we were able to take that, it'd be great. But Alright, so Blaze, Bolt, Bolt. Yeah, we're taking the skull crack. Faux show. That's actually not terrible for us, I don't think. Gonna crack this, and we're gonna get a green, probably breeding pool. We don't want a second. We want a second black too. We're just gonna get overgrown too. We don't have any black sources, or any blue sources right now. But we have misty, and it's more important to have double black for Kalidus, and multiple green for scavenging ooze. So. I'm gonna be honest. I, th for me, Grim Flare, the the amount of work it takes to get Grim Flare going, uh, has never really been worth it for me. 
If they go bolt bolt, we can still snag a searing blaze, which is pretty good here, I think. I don't really want them to turn on their Searing Blaze, so I'm going to actually... Let's collect a Brutality then with the two modes. Uh, target you, target you. What card are we discarding? Probably just land here. If you top deck to Skullcrack, I will rage, my friend. future leech all right that's fine so we're gonna take out the searing blaze and play land here mm, that's fine they have six damage in hand. We can go scavenging ooze, eat a guy. They can go lightning bolt and then lightning bolt, lightning bolt, which would kill us. But we do get to collect a brutality here. Two modes. Cast again. So this is nice because it prevents five. We'll get rid of tireless tracker because ooze is life and courser is life. Courser is life. Free me. Alright. So we go up to seven and they have no cards in hand. That's good. That is good. Rift Bolt, all right. So, yeah, that's actually great. All right, one, two, three, Courser. There may even be a land on top as well. There is not, but that's a good card to draw, and we will definitely not be shuffling that bad boy. That's uh, pretty okay. So we can go to five. I don't think there's any card they can draw that would kill us here at five when they have two lands, so... I think worst is Boros Charm that puts us to one. And then we go back up to five. That is not going to do it. Land on top? Maybe? If a creature died this turn, like there's no way a creature dies, right? Let's crack you. Get an island maybe? I think an island is probably fine here. Oh, another Verdant. Nice. It's too bad it's a creature and not a, not a land. It's too bad it doesn't have Revolt. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wait for a creature to die here, so. Swift Spear. And we can still get a forest here if we want to, just to pump this guy to a 4-4. Four, four. All right. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. We're having a good time. Are we 2-0 with this deck? Remember that time Iron Chef Sam was like, I'll never be burned, and I'm like, let me show you what that's like. I think Jace being on top is totally fine. Do we have any creatures we can eat? Oh, we can eat our own tireless tracker. And they have no cards in hand, so I think we're doing that. We actually just break even here, so... I guess we don't have to do it now, right? We can just get a better land. Oh, and the Jace stayed on top. The Jace stayed on top. We have two Jaces in the deck. I'm telling you, that's a bug, dude.
I like your content. Thanks so much for saying so. Um, so we're going to eat our own tireless tracker. And we'll play this guy. We're at 12 right now. That seems healthy. I don't know. I'm not, I'm no, I'm no life gain expert, but that seems, seems good. Yeah, three to miss it against the control deck seems pretty good. <laughs> Slide devil you. <laughs> we have a good time. Kalita seems good. That guy also has lifelink last time I checked. Which was recently. Actually, let's see what we get here. Let's flip this guy first. Oh, we'll discard Inquisition. Like you do. Uh, I'm going to cast Life Goes On from me graveyard. I think this game is over now. The old 16 life, a classic. I was in the bathroom, what did I miss? Wow, that's a real Iron Chef Sammy right there. Oh boy, I'm also real bad with words. Sammy, your heart's in the right place, buddy, and that's the important part. All right, well, I like Feed the Clan better. I think it's Ferocious, right? You gain five, so you gain an extra life for an extra mana. But then if a dude has died, you gain more, more life. Stop, stop, he's already alive. Yeah, something like that. I'm um, actually wondering what even what does what does the other deck have that this one doesn't? What are some of our options? Uh, Chase the Mind Sculptor, Cryptic Command. Cryptic Command does not seem great. I like all the things our deck is doing. I feel like we might want to like a Kalidus or a Jace here. I like I feel like just Jace is just silly not to play. I like it better than Jace Vryn's Prodigy. Jace Vryn's Prodigy seems like it dies pretty easily. Uh, Ashiok, look, as much as I love Ashiok, and I think everyone will agree that I'm a big Ashiok fan, um, Ashiok does not, it just doesn't hold up in modern, unfortunately. I have tried Ashiok in the Ashiok, in the, in the Soul Tide decks, and Ashiok is just like, it just dies, it just doesn't, it doesn't do it, unfortunately. However, I do want to fix some of the mana now that we've added two double blue cards. Um, well it's funny you say this. it feels more like the rock because like you only had three blue cards in it so it was very blue black to begin with I've actually added one more blue card than you ever had in the deck which is kind of funny uh, Misty Rain over on two We don't have many blue sources, so we might want to. We definitely want to fix that. These are all our blue sources. Like we can only search for three of them. And I think we just want two more fetches. I, hmm, I don't like the Urborg. I think we just don't need it. That's just where I'm at. Do we have more black or more green? We have more black, so we'll add a watery grave number dose. Like the thing is, you you mentioned that it's it's good for the fetches that are dead, but like I think your ideal situation is not having fetches that are dead. I want more blue cards. Yeah, I mean, like, well, 
Yeah, we could definitely add more blue cards, but I actually like the way this has been playing. I think we're, I don't like Grim Flayer that much. Uh, I would actually take the Grim Flayers out, and because then you can actually take out Nihil Spellbomb and like Bitter Blossom in the Traverses, and I like that better to be quite honest. I don't know if you do, but I do. And then we can put two oozes in the main deck because I think ooze is a fine replacement for uh, Grim Flayer. Confidant scares me a little bit. We probably want one more land actually with with two Jaces in the main deck, so we can actually. What do we add? We had a well, we're gonna add one more breeding pool. So we have two breeding pools, two two water graves, and an island. Uh, replace the Grim Flayers with something blue. We can put two Jaces in, two, two of the Jace Friends Prodigy. I don't feel like they're very good, though, in Modern. Well, they're good. I don't know if they're good in this deck, though, because they're not applying much pressure. What's a good two-drop for, for like, Sultai? What do the other Sultai deck have? Uh, Search for Ascanta. I like Search as a one-of. I also like... Just like a go for the throat or something just to kill them. Which sounds really violent. I think I like search as a one of. It's also good. It is also good with the um the delirium strategy, which we're no longer employing, but nevertheless. What cube is that now? The modern cube. God, Baleful Strix would be great. I'm not a fan of Tracker either, that's why I took him out. But you were the one who put him in the deck, right? I do like Bitter Blossom. I think Bitter Blossom is actually pretty cool. And if you discard it, you can actually... Uh... It also makes blockers for Jace. If you discard it, it can make the Tarmogoyf bigger. I want to put two Bitter Blossoms just for just for awesomeness. So now I have 23 lands, three coursers, which should offset some of the life loss from Bitter Blossom. Um... Skin Shifter? Cat Snap Shepherd? Dude, let me tell you, I wish so many times that Baleful Strix was reprinted in a set so it can be modern playable. Um, I just don't think it's an overpowered card, and I think it puts the... I like the blue-green Nissa. I think she's cool. I don't know if she's good enough, though. I mean, we could just play something like two mana leaks. We have Snapcaster. We could also just play more Snapcasters, which I really don't mind at all. I'm actually just looking at some of the other Sultai decks that are in here to maybe get an idea of things, but... Um... Serum Vision's nice, but like we'd only have two slots for them. And we're not super heavy blue, so I don't want to have Serum Visions on turn one. I don't want to have a blue source on turn one. I guess it's fine in the late game. But at that point, I'd rather just have something else, I think. We have Jaces for cards. Maybe I just add another Jace and another Snapcaster. I could see that being good. Ancestral Vision, same thing. Like, I don't want to have it on turn one. I mean, it's the same as Serum Visions. I think it's actually Kiora. I like... Beast Breaker of Galabed. Wow. It's Balaged, not Galabed, but I appreciate your I appreciate your uh your initiative there. I wanna add one more Snapcaster and one more Jace. Because we have a bunch of good instants and sorceries that we can target. We have like at least thirteen here, not including brutalities. Grave Shell Scarab seems like gas. And we'll play a third Jace. We'll see how this goes. We might need to add more um what do you call it? Might need more, more add blue. Might need more add blue. Might need more add blue. Uh, add more blue because of the Jaces. What can we add? We need two more sideboard cards. Geese Taker of Talifed? Yeah, that's actually a good one. The old Geese Taker. Uh, Meyer Boa. I do like Disdainful Stroke, but in Modern, it's probably just better for Mana Leaks. Or Stubborn Denial. But I don't think we're going to have four fives that consistently. 
especially Scarab God seems pretty sweet and like a kind of like comically sweet you guys are naming five drops I don't really want to go to the five drop slot with 24 lands in our deck or 23 lands in our deck rather uh, surgical's okay we already have Leyline though I don't think we really need a surgical I would rather have something to deal with like I think I want a third damping sphere for things like Tron and what else is big and modern Maybe just another th a third feed the clan. I like that. That's good against the burn decks, which are pretty popular. All right, let's try that out. Air of Falconrath. Wow. Uh, this hand is good. I'll keep it. What up, Jace? We're going to get a breeding pool so that we have all of our colors. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Oh, Jin Gataxius Core Augur. That's a good one. Uh, what are we getting? Breeding Pool? Because we have a Swamp. So, yes, we'll get the all the color lands. I mean, this guy's just getting bigger. We're not going to have anything to ooze. So, we got to also collect the Brutality to try to hit a, like, uh, Sylvan Scrying. But if they, like, probably going to crack their Expedition Map here. They're going to go Mine or Tower and then Expedition Map. Yep. Why can't you write whiteboarded really? All right. Well, I think the game's probably over now. I guess we can find out, right? Reveal your hand. Worm coil and oblivion stone. Okay. Well, they also have mine, power plant, and tower already in hand, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. I mean, we can actually bounce the worm coil if we hit another land for this Jace. Both of them. <laughs> yeah, let's do House Guild Mage and Swarm Guild Mage. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's ya boy. What'd they play? They played Warm Coil. What was the land? They played the mine. One land. It wasn't a land. That's real sad. Wanted a land. Wasn't a land, but I wanted a land and a water grave is what we're gonna get. Doot, doot, doot. That is unfortunate. I guess we'll pass here. Is Crow Sand Grip modern legal? It is. And tower number dose. And you top decked what? Walking blister for five. Yes. Excellent. It's the nineteen ninety five film Heat. Oh my god. So now we can bounce this worm coil engine, and I don't think they can win after that. Just kidding. We don't have anything to do here. All right, so brutality is coming out for show. It's not one of the better cards against them. So is fatal push. 
and we can bring in damping sphere and then maybe we bring back in the brutality because at least it hits ancient stirrings and the other one Kalidus also does uh, manage to get rid of worm coil if you can like kill a worm coil and then Kalidus I think the only way you can do that is Assassin's Trophy, but... You know what? I don't think our matchup against Tron is great, so... I can see putting, like, Fulminator Mage in the sideboard. Um, actually, this hand seems okay. I'll keep it. Definitely getting a blue source here. Probably getting a blue-green. Otherwise known as a breeding pool. Oh, they're going to five? I have not seen the new Coen Brothers. The last Coen Brothers film I've seen was ages ago. They went to four. All right, so we're just going to go to go to game three, I guess. We are undefeated with this deck. Maybe we just change it back. I'm not playing the Maelstrom Pulse card. <laughs> Who says the Maelstrom Pulse card? Um, oh, I, I, I heard someone say. Uh, I think they said, I think their, their comment was, I'm not sure what I was thinking when I went in to see, when I started watching Ballad of Buster Scruggs, but I don't know what I got. Not saying it's bad, I just don't know what I watched. And I was like, that's very interesting. Uh, let's get a breeding pool. Is this one goes to the graveyard? When put in a graveyard from the battlefield, draw a card. Okay, so it doesn't matter how that goes there. The Suspiria remake? I don't even know what Suspiria is. You're giving me too much credit for obscure films. I like movies. I like films. But I I think you, uh, you might be giving me too much credit as far as obscure things go. All right, Oblivion Stone, sure. I mean, I'm definitely at a point where I can just relic, I can just abrupt decay this because reasons. And we'll get a second blue source because reasons and then next time we'll have a Jace because you guessed it reasons all right well time of life's going the distance We did the old fate seal, you can have it. That's a classic. Why are you like making fun of how I talk? When did I make fun of how you talked? Oh, the make <laughs> no one because no one says the Maelstrom Pulse card. Like people say, oh, I just noticed I'm not playing Maelstrom Pulse, not the Maelstrom Pulse card. That sounds like a <laughs> Sammy, I love you, buddy. Oh, I'm not playing the Maelstrom Pulse card. Yeah, the reason I didn't think you were playing Maelstrom Pulse was because I, you didn't have, um, it didn't, you didn't seem to have, you had a, Assassin's Trophy and Abrupt Decay. I didn't think you needed all three. Damping Sphere seems good here. Oh, the new Steve McQueen film. Oh, wow. 
I didn't know Steve McQueen was still making movies. Do you plan to see that new Steve McQueen movie with his bones in it? Um, so the thing is, we're not afraid of Tron here. So I think we just play uh, either Bitter Blossom or Tarmogizzle. Oh no, man. Whenever you open the biscuits, that thing always pops. Is it Gizzle or is it Blizzum? Oh, there's two Steve McQueens? Are you for real right now? Oh, man. I think I've seen 12 Years a Slave like four or five times. It's probably one of my favorite movies. The movie's fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to play Bitter Blossom here. <laughs> oh boy oh it makes me furious but the like the it's fantastic like I think I'm pretty sure I cry every time every time I've seen 12 years of slave I'm pretty sure I've cried Is there an operating system called Widows? Oh my god. Look at all these things I don't care about. That's amazing. I'm going to crack this now because I don't want to crack it on my turn. It's plain and simple. I'm going to get a breeding, not a breeding pool. I'm going to get a watery grave because now we have two of everything. And uh, it's a pretty good. Uh, I like Tireless Tracker Blooming Marsh here. If they want to use their mana to kill the Tireless Tracker, that's fine. Because we can only play one thing this turn. So it might as well be the most expensive thing. Boom, 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 boom. Charm is a 4-5 once a creature dies, whether it's this one or this one. Oh, 
Okay, so you're putting a counter. You're going to shoot, shoot, shoot. Yep. Seems good. All right. Let's get some damage. Boop. Can I double boop you? Two boops. So I like Tarmogoyf and maybe like Abrupt Decaying if they try to do anything fancy. That seems good. We can also just crack the clue if they don't. But if they try to put some counters on this boy, we're going to be like, boop, boop, bop them. Sure. So your next spell is going to cost a thousand mana. Chromatic Sphere? Sure. That's going to cost you. It's going to cost you two. I got a damping sphere. You got it. Actually, I'm probably just going to... I'm probably going to abrupt decay that. That seems like a better choice. I really don't want all our graveyards to go away and have a 4 or 5 Tarmogoyf in play. I had a blue, of course. <laughs> this also puts an instant in the graveyard, which makes Tarmogoyf a 5-6, I believe. Sure, I will exile a land, because I feel like that's going to be easier to replicate. Although now it's just 4 or 5. Sad days. Eh, I'm just going to play a land here. Crack this. Snappy. Kill this guy. They shoot a token. They take 4, 5, 6. We actually can't do that because of the damping sphere. That's a good thing to keep in mind. All right, so now we don't have to waste it. That's nice. And they can't actually O stone and like deal us a bunch of damage, so we can actually scavenging use here, and that's fine. Uh, we'll actually keep this up because we have. Eh, I guess we can't do anything with it. Ocean's Bobers. Wow, that's good. One, two, three, four, five. They have seven mana. They could just hard cast a Karn here. Judging by tapping only Urza's Tower, I don't get that impression, though. Hmm. They took five from this. Okay. Let's make sure I'm targeting the walking blister there. All right. Green. And I will eat a tireless tracker, I guess.
I don't want to eat the other Tarmogoyf. Or do I? No, I'd rather just play it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can't actually go Snapcaster or Abrupt Decay if we play Search for Azkanta. I'd rather, we can just put the before. I think that's totally fine. I mean, if they go land Oblivion Stone here, it's pretty brutal. But that doesn't look like what they're doing. It looks like they're going to play Ugin here. Yep. Negative two. Pretty disgusting. We tried. Actually, this is not terrible. We can attack them for two, and then we just snapcast her again. That could be the game. Because I assume they're going to Lightning Bolt Snappy. And then we Snappy again. I just hope they don't have anything, I guess. All right. Well, that's a thing. I don't know what discard they're going to have. We can discard this pretty easily. Like, even if they Karn, we just get rid of the Damping Sphere and then flash in Snappy Boy. Yep. They could just have nothing as well. Oh, man. Oh, man! Is our second Snapcaster, the second Snapcaster that we added, is it going to actually win us the game when they're at two? Oh my god, unbeatable. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh boy, we're 3-0 right now. That's pretty cool. Anything we didn't like here? I don't think so. I like the idea of one Maelstrom Pulse, maybe over one Jace. Wow. Wrecking Tron. I don't like taking any of the colored lands out for like a Field of Ruin, especially in a three color deck. What are some good like Tron spoils? What are we playing this colorless control against Tron that was good? Obviously, I love um, oh, none of these, I guess. Obviously, I love Stony Silence against this deck, but obviously, that's not an option. Back to basics. Yeah, seems good. Spreading Seas could be an option, like two Spreading Seas. The problem is it doesn't... I guess it still dies to... Okay. Unmoored Ego is actually could be pretty good. Unmoored Ego can hit lands. Oh, that's nice. Let's put in two Unmoored Egos in the sideboard. Um, we can cut one of... We can cut one Leyline because we're bringing in a different plan. We can cut we can cut Collective Brutality. We don't need actually a million Collective Brutalities. How do, I don't think Counter Squall is good against... Counter Squall is fine, but like... Like, we're not trying to, like, out. Do I like one Maelstrom Pulse? I do almost like one Counter Squall in the main deck, just because it does deal with Oblivion Ring, Oblivion Stone. I should add a Q. Might 
Might be better than Search here. Better Blossom has also been pretty good. Yeah, we'll play one Counter Squall in here. I like that. I think this is fine. We have two discard spells, and that's really all you want. Let's go Overgrown Tomb into Inquisition. Serum Visions, Logic Knot, Supreme. I'll take the. I'll take that, and then we can just hit the. Yeah, this is a pretty terrible hand. So flooded strand. Oh, I like a counter squall. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So field logic. This, this, and this. Land play land. Leaving them with supreme verdict is interesting. Um, because it forces us to play differently, but Logic Knot is just going to be better if they have two cards in the graveyard that we've given them. It's just basically a hard counter from every turn forward, so... The problem with Infernal Judgment is that by the point, by the point that it's actually good, they've already done the deed, right? So they'll play Ugin, they'll exile all your stuff, and then if you Infernal Judgment, like, okay, well, it's too late then. Also, I don't think the card is called Infernal Judgment. I think it's called something else. Infernal Reckoning? Is that what you're referring to? Also, Infernal Reckoning only deals with colorless creatures, too. It doesn't actually hit anything, so... Unless there's a different card, you mean. Um, probably going to lean toward more black. No. Hmm, seems good. Um, they have Supreme Verdict that we know of. So I actually will take two here, and we will Snapcaster and go to 10, which is not ideal, but they don't really have anything in their hand, so. We're going to get Thoughtseize for sure, because we know all the... We know at least one card that we could take is that. And now they have four lands. Okay, that's good. Field of Ruin. Where the field of ruin go when they die? They don't go to heaven when they reach. So they drew one card. We could try to play Tarmogoyf here. Which I think is fine. So I explain why all the other streamers like Lonely have zero tolerance for hanging out memes. I don't know. They're absolute monsters, I imagine. This is where we hope they don't go land Supreme Verdict number two. Okay, well that's one of your draws. So you have three lands and whatever you drew. What is it? Sorcery instant land? Um Yeah, that's a good Thank draw. You. That's fine. We have double blue. We'll get a green. Cassius, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Jace. Oh, tireless tracker? Dang. Well, I mean, we know they have three lands in hand, so... 
I'm pretty on board for just dropping Tireless Tracker and uh, praying, I guess. Three lands and a spell. Or, or could be four lands. Thank you. Sure. BSP4, thank you so much for the, the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Man, this is some, some solid path to exiles here. So I played a two drop when I had three land and I couldn't counter squall. I played a three drop when I had four land and I couldn't counter squall. Now. Fascinating. The funny thing is if they if they take out this watery grave with their ghost quarter, which they're likely going to do here, it does keep us off of double blue, so we'd have to draw land and then Jace if that's our if that's our plan. It's not terrible. I guess it's not great though either, because they don't have actually it turns off like snapcasters if they have snapcasters. Did you just top like a snapcaster? Alright, this is nice because we have counter squall and fatal push. So we can kill this multiple ways. We can also counter whatever they play. Alright, so they still only have one card in hand. Let's go to the end step. Let's get rid of Logic Knot. Well, that's pretty good. This is the first time I'm able to catch you live. Thanks for all the great content in the Colorless Deck with Gas. I agree with you. That Colorless Deck was super sweet. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Glad you could catch live. You got it. Put it in the trash can. Fire away. Like, I definitely don't want to take down the shields here. Because if we get to counter anything with Counter Squall, they're dead. Uh, we can also eat things that they get with, uh, that they try to get with, like, a Snapcaster. So. the planes and now you're you're holding out hope that i don't have a way to deal with your other colonnade but i do so we're not going to take the other one because if their last card is snap a cast we're just going to attack let them pay the mana Because if they go snap, we can fatal push and then eat whatever they get. Okay, so they're just going to activate colonnade. Cryptic command. What are the modes? Tap all creatures and draw a card. Okay. You got it. Chase the line sculptor. That is a good one. That is a good one. If we play Liliana, they can activate this and kill it, but then they die. So let's do that. Uh, 
It almost seems like they have to bounce it. Boy, this game's pretty grindy. Yep, to the surprise of no one. All right, so you got a brainstorm now. So you have three mana and two cards to do whatever you want with. Detention Sphere. All right. So we have Assassin's Trophy. We can get rid of the Detention Sphere. Uh, let's eat something. Let's eat a Supreme Verdict, I guess. It's a lot of Assassin's Trophies. Well, we're going to attack first. Put them to two. And then we're going to probably lock them out of... So if they search, the cards they put back don't go back into their hand. Yeah, this deck has seemed sweet so far. We're 3-0. I mean, it's got all the cards I like. It's got Liliana's, it's got Tireless Strikers, Corsair Crew Fix. Like, it has a bunch of stuff I like. The Jace was also uh, pretty powerful when we were able to resolve it, so. Opt, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Opt again. Uh, this is Iron Chef Sammy's list. Look, I know it's Sultai in your jam, but how many turns does it take? What does that even mean? Oh, a timely reinforcements, huh? They have no creatures. Oh, but how many turns does it take? Oh, it takes no turns. So they just gain life here, which is fine, but... I mean, I feel like this Liliana is actually going to... They have no cards in hand? Jeez. I really don't want them to draw a counter spell and be able to counter this when we go to try to kill this because that's one way to lose. I'm just going to Assassin's Trophy it now. I mean, it sucks. It's not ideal. But they could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, activate. They'll still have 3 mana up, which leaves Logic Knot. Or alternatively, why do you tap it? Like, you don't have any cards in your hand. What a weird thing to do. Are you done? All right, cool. Glad you got that man out of there. I mean, this game turned around quick. They were at two life. Are they? Is this game one? They have timely reinforcements in the main deck. Just top deck cryptic command. 
No. Jace? Teferi. Jesus Christ. <sighs> what even happened? We were in such good shape here. Of course it's a land. Why wouldn't it be? Ah, wow. You got it. Congratulations on all your amazing top decks. Oh, boy. Like, earlier it was path into path into, like, cryptic command into, like, Jace. And now, like, it's just, it, like, I don't, yeah. All right. It is what it is. I mean, timely reinforcements in the main deck. I guess I can't deal with that. Good times, good times. Yeah, I can see countering the cryptic actually um, being the the problem. Like, because if we just have Serum Visions resolve, like, it, there's not that many creatures in their deck, so we just counter the card they get off cryptic or uh, Serum Visions, but. Oh, the worst is when they crush you like that, and they're like, man, my, my hand I kept was terrible, and you're just uh, like, all right, well, I mean, you didn't have to. I think I drew runner, runner, two best planeswalkers. Yeah, well. Oh, this is a good hand. This is actually fine. Uh, I will keep that on top, actually. We can go Blooming Marsh into Inquisition into the other dude. Spell Snare, Negate, Mana Leak, dis Wow. All right, so if we want to resolve this Liliana. Hmm. I don't actually care about Dispel here. Yikes. We'd also have it hit a third land, so... I don't think we're going to play Brutality here, because then they just Spell Snare it, which is pretty rough. I guess they can do that next turn, too. 
Um, let's get a watery grave. I'm just gonna play it tapped. Because if they go untapped like Glacial Fortress, uh, and then they use Spell Snare, they're actually wasting a mana. We don't actually have a third land yet anyway, so. Hmm. One, two. So they still have like um mana leak and dispel. Let's try this and see what happens. I mean, I, I assume they're gonna mana leak this, which is actually that's fine, because it's bait. Okay, there you go. I will not pay the three because I don't have it. I don't think this is a good matchup for us. Rest in peace. Huh. Well, we get to we get to Liliana here. That's pretty nice. Actually, gonna eh, we'll just play the land. I, I wanted to wait till for Tylus Tracker, but I think it's Get probably just better to. Take my money. Spicy Jalapeno 3. Three good old America bucks. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for the uh, the America bucks. Those are the kind I like to spend. It might be the only kind I know. Oh, that's fascinating. Two, three. Tracky. Do you counter my Tracky? And bounce a little on it. That'd be amazing. I have a dispel. Was one of your other hits a uh, cryptic command by any chance? It's 100% cryptic command. They're choosing their modes right now. Uh, what would we say with un with unmoored? Uh, we would probably choose. Um. We would choose Teferu most likely. Okay, so I think this guy's resolving. Thank you. Spice Alapino with the sub three, two months in a row. Finally stand past five. Well, we got like a thousand gifted subs today, so. And if they want to attack Liliana, we have a Celestial. We have, oh, Assassin's Trophy is going to get countered by Dispel. That's pretty sad. Yikes. They can field of ruin if they like. Oh, no no attacks here. That's fascinating. Oh, maybe attacks. Um they do tap out. I guess we have to do it, right? Let's crack this guy. What are we gonna get? Second blue, right? Watery grave? Yeah, let's do that. They let it resolve? What in the earth? I'm really confused right now. Why would they do that? 
I'll take the supreme verdict. Now you just have Dispel Island? What? This is very strange. I don't know what's going on right now. I don't have anything to play, so there's no reason to keep the clues around when we can just hit a land here, so. Like you do. I have no idea why they didn't dispel the assassin's trophy. It doesn't say can't be countered on it, right? It's not like a... Oh, a terminus. How nice. I guess a one for one. Like you can counter... It's an instant. You can counter it. What am I missing? What's even happening? I'll pay the black. Okay. Let's get rid of that and we'll unmoor Ego you. Uh, Jace is one of the, or Teferi is one of the few cards that we don't want you to top deck. So we're going to name Teferi. Hero of Dominaria. And now we get to take a gander at your whole deck. Which is nice. Pop this guy out too. And we can see all of it from here. Dismiss. You need to look, get a little snip in action here. That's every card in your deck, I imagine. Boop. Boop. There's a Bane Slayer, a Celestial Purge, three Cryptics, three Jaces, a Search, a Timely, two more Terminuses, a Lyra. Interesting. Any Detention Spheres? No more Detention Spheres. So they actually have no way to deal with this Liliana outside of uh, one Celestial Purge, it looks like. Okay, well, we shall see. Top deck Celestial Purge one time. Sure. Well, yes, they clearly boarded out Detention Sphere. That is the only option. I guess Cryptic Command is also an option. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, Magic the Gathering. Cryptic Command into Celestial Colonnade. We draw two lands. Phenomenal. That's unbelievable. Oh, boy. Cryptic Command into an answer for the Liliana. So even if we just replay it, it's just, okay, well. So they had literal four outs in 40 cards. One in 10 chance and they hit it. Yep, that was uh, it's pretty good. Plus having the follow-up for her is also pretty insane when they literally have like three Celestial Colonnades left in their deck, so. I don't know. I don't really want to go to seven when we have, uh, what do you call it? When we have, when they have a four, four on board. So I'd rather have two turns instead of just one. Yep, this guy's going the distance. Thank you. Unseen Spectre with 20 months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. 
These matches have been pretty ridiculous. Let's get some clues up in here. Let's see what that last card is, Moan Frere. A ghost quarter. Well, this is going to break us even, so... Now we'll get a breeding pool, because... Abrupt Decay is nice, because that will not kill a Celestial Colonnade! That is just terribly sad. Just always yield to this. I'm not going to respond to it. Oh, a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Mm -hmm. I think we just have to crack this guy here. Like, I want to deal as much damage as I can. So now your one card is a Ghost Quarter, which is good for us. Holy crap, just kind of working on sub three seven today. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. How did you know you're sub-57? Where does it say that? Oh, because it says... Uh, con counts 57. Wow. Wow. Won the game. My god, these are grindy. So they got rest in peace. I don't think we care about that, though. It is terrible for Tarmogoyfs. Nothing else is great, though. Iclitus just might be a good threat for us to have. Because of all the Celestial Colonies, I almost like Fatal Push better than Abrupt Decay. We do have Assassin's Trophy as well. I think this is fine. What up, Magic Avocado? Avocado. Oh, boy. Any land in the sand is gas. It's just a bunch of two drops, which is great. We need to land in the top two cards. Do I keep this hand? I don't keep it, right? Tell me to ship the hand. Someone just say ship the hand. Just tell me to ship it. Thank you. Okay, this will do. Have you considered a 15-card all-fog-related spell sideboard? No, no, I have not, nor do I think I will. I appreciate the suggestion, though. Ah, but if we don't play one land... Let's get a breeding pool. We will not do that. God, this match has been taking forever. Oh, that was a good hit. Let's play old Goiferuski into their spell snare into resolves. Fascinating. Did not see that coming. Bounce, <laughs> 
So I like just playing Corsair here. And if they want to counter this, then we get an enchantment, a creature, and an instant in the graveyard. So, okay. good. That's a good deal. Gonna kill my land. This is all very interesting to me. We consider exchanging those lands for lands for just colorless man instead. Perhaps some that increase the amount of mana produced as different types are in play. You know, I've never considered that. And I don't think I will. I think they got this so that they'd have double white for the uh, supreme verdict that comes down next turn. So that's nice. We're going to have a... going to go land into supreme verdict. Congratulations. You're very good at this game. times like this i wish i could just draw like a liliana or a, or a jace or something that would just have a chance against an empty board when we have nothing to do and instead we just draw it's 23 lands i really don't expect we, we don't have that many lands so it's kind of interesting that we keep drawing like six lands seven eight lands are out of the deck and only four spells are out of the deck like that's just not a reasonable ratio and like as much as I don't want to crack this because I feel like they're targeting our blue sources, I'm still gonna do it. Hey, look at that! Fashionably late when they have four mana up, so it's like, eh. Yeah, they can logic not for four if they want to, so I'm not even like. Shut up and take my money. What's going on? Oh, see, one see you tomorrow, Buck. Oh, spicy jalapeno. I will see you tomorrow. I'm actually tempted to just nag Liliana and just get like a Tarmogoyf back. But then they can just attack her, so that's not as good. We will, pl or we could just get Corsair of Crufix back. All right. Well, abrupt decay. Not being able to kill uh, lands is pretty rough. Here comes Teferi. Oh, Colonadio. I like to play this during combat. That's very fascinating to me. I guess don't have dispel. <laughs> Cringing so hard. Oh, that's so good. That's nice. I always feel like we're ahead. It's so weird. I always feel like we're ahead, and then we don't get ahead. And that just makes me sad. One, two, three. Actually, let's collect a Brutality first and see what they're working with here. Oh, a Terminus, a Snapcaster. Oh, a Jace the Mind Sculptor. How nice. Well, those are all very good. So I assume we lose Liliana this turn, but then they don't get to play Jace. And then we draw a Collective Brutality that actually doesn't do anything. So, you know, not great. This is why I don't like Collective Brutality in the main deck. I just don't think it's that good. It's a great card, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, look who it is. Your boy. Jace is gone. They've not played a land yet.
<sighs> so you're gonna put two back you're gonna go to five three of these we know one you drew for the turn one you drew off of this jace so So, can't I... I mean, I guess we'll just do this. You just draw like a mana leak? No, it's gotta be a negate. Can't be dispel. You wouldn't have to crack that for a spell snare, so... They play land? What land do they play? Flooded Strand, okay. You can also just sack Liliana to get a to get this scavenging ooze, play the ooze, eat like a supreme verdict. Like what are you what's going on right now? I don't even know what's happening. All right, resolves. Serum Visions and Logic Knot. With two Snapcasters, okay. So I guess we're getting rid of Logic Knot. Because that's what's known as a hard counter. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like Liliana does anything when they have Celestial Colonnade on board, so we're just gonna actually use Liliana here. Um, get the Ooze. Okay. Play the use. Play the land. Thoughtseize is okay. Attack the Jace. And now you have Snap, Serum, Snap. Seems fine. Yep, that's good. Elliot, not sure if I can just give you help in the in the chat, but yeah, feel free to post it. Man, just chaining them serum visions together. I'm going to assume there's no more serum visions left. I also assume you have a supreme verdict by now. How many were in your deck? It looked like just one. One supreme, two terminus is what it looked like. So maybe... I have five cards. That's a lot. Now they have four. Two of them are... Are, not our. Two of them are Snapcasters, presumably. Uh, I don't actually want to do this because... Well, what can they hit? What do they do? They can't actually play anything here, so we might as well s eat, like, a Tarmogoyf here. Mm-hmm. 
So ideally, we should be able to get rid of the Jace. They have one, two, three, four, five targetable spells. We have four green sources, so. Cryptic command. <sighs> Definitely should have attacked first. I mean, they also have four and a half minutes to win the game. It's not impossible. Especially with an active Jace. But we get to draw a Snapcaster, which is very, very nice. Jif the Myth Sculptor. Hmm. All right, well. Field of Ruin, eh? So, still two snaps. Are you going to activate this? Are you just killing all my lands? Alright, so we're going to target Logic Knot. Sure, it's the only thing you can actually cast here. Just gonna get a forest here. We can start clearing out their whole graveyard, making their snapcasters pretty. Oh wow, Jace on top. That's a nice one. Let's get cryptic command out of there. Let's get supreme verdict out of there. Let's get a Serum Visions out of there. And let's get a Terminus out of there. This is actually okay. <laughs> because they're going to take the Jace... We know they have two Snapcasters here. We could also Unmoored Ego and go for Teferi here. Oh, you have something. Oh, you have the obvious card. Um, sure. We should actually should have went both to Jace. This is kind of greedy, but... So Snapcaster gone. We don't have any more blue cards, so we might as well just keep up. Actually, we don't have that in our hand, so I'm just going to actually play Tarmogoyf. And pass. I always think, I'm like, oh, it's on the top of my library, so basically it's it's in my hand, so. Yep, you got it. They have two minutes and 43 seconds to win this game. With no real threats. I mean, they could play a Teferi. I just dropped my phone. They could play a Teferi here, and uh, they could tuck any one of these, and it still leaves us with a lot of power on board. They're going to take the Jace. That's a good Jewish grandmother voice you did in the chat. I don't know if that works the way you This is the grind. Like this is, this is taking forever. Like, I'm pretty sure they can't win in a minute and fifty seconds. So, 
two cards that go back. They have four cards. One is a Snapcaster that we knew about. One is a blank that we didn't know about. One they drew for the turn, and one they got off chase. So all of this is it's all coming together now. One, two, three, four, five. Teferi Tuck. Yeah, Lyra's okay. That is definitely a threat. Search for Escanta, sure. Are there any creatures? I really want Tarmogoyf to shrink. There are not. Oh, Assassin's Trophy. Why can't we draw that? Let's go for Teferi. Hero of Dominaria. Bane Slayer Angel in hand. Okay, you got it. Please grab the other Teferi. Okay. So, can we get... We can't actually make the... The Ooze of 5-5. Five, five. So, we're just going to attack... We take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Yeah, I don't think we're winning that race anymore. Wow, the race just went from very winnable to not great. Did they show what was in our hand? Was it Jason? What was that? What was in their hand? Was it a dispel? Because that kind of sucks. Uh, we have not played the ego against Tron yet, so it was Bane Slayer Angel and something else, right? I don't actually remember. It doesn't matter. It, we're either going to win or lose here, so. Because that's literally how magic games work. Oh, I know. I know Curse of Ocon every, every Tuesday night, buddy. <sighs> this is a lot of time to be wasting when you have 35 seconds on the clock. This is a modern deck. If this was not a modern deck, I would be surprised. Yep. So we take five and then six and five. No attacks, huh? Fascinating. Let's eat a Jace. And I'll eat, a, eat a one of these. Yeah, I'm gonna eat your whole graveyard. I'm gonna save one creature because I don't want to shrink Tarmogoyf, but they do have double. They do both have. Yeah, this is fine. 14 seconds. I don't think you've got this, but play a land. Will not pay two life. Yeah, we're just going to pass. This is only 6. This is only 15 damage, and we are at 21. So, yeah, we're just going to win on time, unfortunately. Or fortunately? I have no idea. Like, we know they have the Dispel in hand. Oh, or they don't. I don't know. Either way, <laughs> they have run out of time, and... Uh, we are 4-0 currently, which is pretty sweet. I think I like this configuration a lot. I would probably cut... I would add one more Counter Squall because I, I have liked it. Um, I might even consider Mana Leak because it's easier on the mana instead of the one of the Collective Brutalities. Um, I do like Unmoored Ego. I don't actually know if I care about Leyline, especially because it makes our Tarmogoyf Wave smaller. Whereas Unmoored Ego is just good against a lot of stuff. I would actually add just one more Unmoored Ego. One more to Ego. And I think I like this sideboard. I like this main deck configuration with counter squalls being mana leaks, maybe. And um, I would go with this. I should say, I think this is actually pretty sweet. And I, I like the Jaces. They had a lot of late game goodness. And um, do that. Play that. Yes.
All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you're watching on YouTube. If you want to have your own deck critiques, feel free to check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can check that out. And uh, you can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You get 15% off free shipping and free returns on underwear, onesies, lounge pants, tees, socks, anything you can imagine. And uh, it's a good deal. It helps me out. It helps you out. And uh, you guys probably need that stuff anyway. So if you're going to get it anyway, feel free to use my affiliate link. It's in the description below. And uh, everybody wins. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.